Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to hack your computer with your iPod Touch. First, go to Installer. Let's wait till it loads up. Mine takes a while. Okay, then go to Sources. Go to Edit and add type in a source called ally a l l i pod p o d dot i mean hacks h o h a x dot three host h o s t dot biz b i z slash index i n d e x dot x m l okay if you didn't get that i'll put it in the description of my video click ok but i have it already so i'll click cancel might take a while to Install, install that source. After that's all done, let's go installer. I mean install. Go down to network. Then go down to V. Mine's not there because I already installed it. It's spelled, it's called VNC, it's spelled capital V, capital N, S, E, A, and then just install that, but it should look something like this, and you installed it. Okay, then go to your computer, I have to go to mine, so take a while, so hold on. Okay, I'm at my computer, so let's open up a new link. And go to a website called um, www.uvnc.com slash download. You didn't get that put in the description of the video. Then install this thing. It said setup and stuff. Right here. Click that. Little link should pop up. It said downloading. So hold on. might take a while so I'll pause it for a second till it comes okay. in. You should get this thing that pops up. Click save to disk and click save file but I already installed that. I mean I downloaded that so you just click that. Then after it's all downloaded might take okay. Let's go to start. Go to all programs you get something called Ultra VNC then click the blue eyeball click that and here's the blue eyeball scroll over it and you get a URL minus 24.12.167.10 so you take that go to your iPod Go to the VNC thing, then this thing, just click add, click whatever you want to name it, Oink. and stuff. So first you go here, right click it, click properties, I mean not that, just double click it. Oops. I mean admin properties, here's your password, just put whatever you want for your password. 
and check in these two boxes that say enable Java viewer and allow loop back connections then just click OK then go to your iPod and name it whatever you want and for the address put what it is over here for the address scroll over the eyeball and they'll tell you then for the password put whatever you put then click save but I already did one then I called it compact so just wait till that loads then there you go you're on your computer your iPod thanks for watching